Business Wednesday, brought to you by BioStrat. Get what you need naturally. We're going to begin here with the outbreak of a mystery virus in China that now has the World Health Organization on edge. It's been over three years since SARS-CoV-2 first showed up, changing life as we knew it. And before long, the words social distancing, quarantine, and pandemic all became a regular part of our lexicon. Though the world has reopened its doors post-pandemic, the coronavirus, or Miss Rona as she's known to some colloquially, has remained busy in the background, mutating. Experts are keeping a close watch on the latest variant, a descendant of the Omicron variant also known as JN1. It's been found in many countries, including India, China, the United Kingdom, and the United States. In fact, the Center for Disease Control projects JN1 will account for almost 50% of all COVID-19 infections in the U.S. this week. Labeled as a variant of interest by the WHO, the organization says based on current data, the additional global public health risk posed by JN1 is currently evaluated as low. And while this variant is not known to be circulating in Trinidad and Tobago, those heading abroad should exercise caution, as JN1 is likely more transmissible than other variants or better at evading our immune systems than other circulating variants. Now, JN1 seems to produce similar symptoms to infections from other variants, namely a fever or chills, cough, sore throat, congestion, or runny nose, just to name a few. So as we head into the carnival season, the advice remains the same as it was three years ago. Wear a mask in crowded or enclosed spaces. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Get tested if you feel unwell. And most importantly, if you feel sick, stay at home. Wellness Wednesday, brought to you by BioStrat. Get what you need naturally.